What's going on traders? Welcome back to another video. Let's quickly go over the reverse repo markets and the insane and bizarre number we saw today on Wednesday before we cover AMC stock. So let's get right into it. 992 billion, right under 1 trillion was that number as of today with 90 bidders, aka money market funds that partook in this today at a rate of 0.05%. This is up from 0%. Obviously you guys know what happens if they stay at zero and potentially go negative. As you can see here from falling to low, these these funds go bust at negative. So they can't have that happening. However, what is this signal? The banks are literally hitting the limits on how much money they can hold on their balance sheets. There's too much money out there. Look at this. Morgan Stanley doubles its dividend. Why? They have money. They have cash. Too much. Following Fed stress tests. So we cover the stress tests. They passed this like nothing. They're able to handle, I forgot the scenario. I think it was like the market falls 55% and the housing market blows up. I forgot the numbers, but they were they were able or easily able to handle that pressure or that scenario. Were they hinting at a market crash? I don't know. But with the market, literally the spy hitting a brand new fresh high into the market close on the last day of the quarter, the moment or the market is in the hands of the Fed. Higher highs and new highs are in the hands of the Fed. Today was the last day. We saw some shuffling going around. Um, 1.6 billion on the sell side. Um, we mentioned that um, earlier this week. Keep a look at to see what these funds do. Cut their losses, add to their windows is something they're doing. But with so much money being out there, why don't they just invest the money? Is something you might be asking yourselves. Why don't they just invest the money in the markets? Uh, or just buy some debt. For example, if they were to buy um, short-term debt, put that as an example. If they were to buy a short-term debt, that has the potential, depending on how much they buy, to drive interest rates negative. And of course, we talked about it. What happens if rates go negative? These funds blow up. That is something they do not want that to happen. Um, Friday, guys, in two days, we had the unemployment numbers. And if you guys are watching the dollar like a hawk, the dollar has been, it went up today. The dollar was green today, and it has been rising in anticipation of these unemployment numbers, which, of course, Powell and the Fed are probably hoping that these unemployment rates um, or these unemployment numbers are still pretty darn high and they're we're really or the economy isn't really out of the woods yet. So that is something you need to watch out for on Friday. Unemployment numbers it's going to be very, very important. And of course, the heavily manipulated CPI, which is until July. So that's in, that's until over the horizon. So keep that in mind. So for the for the dollar to keep on rallying. Usually, this is a higher rate anticipation instrument. The dollar it anticipates higher rates. Obviously, higher interest rates is a stronger dollar. So, can that be the main reason why the dollar is going up? Obviously, now there's way too many variables to be able to predict that. But just watch the dollar. Watch oil has been going up. Uh, commodities, copper, lumber have been plummeting back down. If you think it was going to go forever, you're crazy. There has to be a healthy pullback. Of course, is it going to be sticky? Is this, are these prices still going to be high? I don't know. So let's go back into AMC. I know we covered some of the macro things going on right now. There's a whole market out there aside from GameStop and AMC. Uh, I still have to watch, but I kind of lose myself sometimes just trying to focus on one stock. So just keep that in mind. AMC today pulled back to 56.60 uh, at an official close. Actually, we didn't even necessarily pull back. The stock stayed completely flat, almost up half half a percent which is not too too bad i know we kind of dipped here uh, the market opened at 54 hit a high of 58 that doesn't really matter in the grand picture because the stock is still literally right under the resistance at 60 61 in which i believe if it can break 60 61 the stock is gonna get some legs to 65 and has the potential to move up to 72 the only thing the only my concern right now is of course the volume the number one active indicator uh, apart from all these lines you see here on this chart, the active volume is what I put heavy importance on. And of course, it's diminishing compared to when it hit 72. That is because I don't think there is a one catalyst right now that can send the stock upward. It needs a catalyst to light up the spark and bring in all those those um, traders, institutions who were in on this stock. But the fact that it's still holding at these levels is a very, very strong support. So flat day today, is that bad? No, it's still above the EMA. It's still here at the same levels uh, we've been talking about. Very, very healthy support levels. And the next biggest catalyst, of course, are going to be the upcoming movies and the box office numbers for that and the annual shareholder meeting. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you slap a like. 
subscribe if you are new and i'll see you guys tomorrow for another live stream peace out